Uh, not a Milwaukee school. No. A lot of other schools. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> like even the ones that we chose for you to um, work with are some that we know that if they had a little nudge, they might see things differently. Gotcha. Yeah. This, this is middle school? This is kindergarten through eighth grade. Okay. It's very important to me, you know, especially with what's going on in the world today. Um, a lot of these young men and women are lost, um, not having really a lot of people to even look up to. If I was to paint my picture of where I'm from, um, sure everyone know Indianapolis, Indiana, a little small town, but um, can be pretty vicious and have a good bite. Most of the houses were boarded, a lot of gang violence and drug dealing. It wasn't like a fluke if you heard gunshots, it was something of the norm. You know how Milwaukee sometimes look on a gloomy day for 90% of the time, where you don't see sunshine? That's kind of where I grew up. You just didn't see sunshine a lot. Oh, you play ball, huh? I can already see you ready. I might get dunked on. Why? Why you, why you think you're going to get dunked on? You got to tie your shoe up, though, because I don't want you falling. How old are you? Ten. I just turned ten. Ten? What grade? Fourth. Fourth? Ooh. You got to make that shot. Ten years old, fourth grade. Favorite subject? Math. Math. Why math? Ooh. Why math? Because. Because what? I get to learn a lot. Is that a three? Three zero. What are we going to? Six. Six. Only six points? Yep. Twenty one. You keep going up and score. What you got? Three. What I got? Fifteen. Okay. Eighteen. Game point. First one to score, okay? You better make it count. Oh, you gonna give me the walk off look. Well, we're gonna sit up here real quick. Why it's important to me is just to give someone else hope because someone gave me hope when I was a young kid. A guy named Mike Saunders. I felt like he believed more in me at that time because he's seen something different. He always told me I could be anything I wanted to be in life, um, that I was born a winner. He just instilled that confidence. He instilled that determination in me to to keep going no matter what obstacle comes in the way, no matter if I get knocked down a hundred times to get back up and keep fighting and, and just believe in myself. You know, I kind of owe all the credit to him. You been in trouble here yet? For what? Running the halls. Why you running the halls? What else you been in trouble for here at school? Just this year? Fighting. Fighting? No. You just, no, you just told on yourself. Uh, scoot over, but we got to talk a little closer. And you learn, right? Mm -hmm. And you keep yourself out of trouble, and you get to do things, and you say you want to play basketball. Ain't nobody going to take you playing basketball if you get in trouble, if you're fighting. Right? I grew up in a rough part of Indianapolis. I used to fight all the time at school. It wasn't good, though. Right? I got kicked out in the sixth grade. Like kicked out of school. I feel like I let my mom down, right? How you and your mom good? Mm -hmm. You love her? Mm -hmm. So if, let's say if you were to make her cry, it would hurt you. Would it be, would it hurt you more than that boy calling you that name? So just think, that boy calling you that name and you fighting him could have pretty much kicked you out of school, let's say. And who that would have hurt at the end? My mom. You get what I'm saying now? Mm -hmm. So sometimes it ain't worth it. That's what you got to start realizing. And you want to change. You want to be a positive person. It's about, you know, digging deep, finding someone who really needs help um, to mm -hmm. be there for them. Sometimes a mentor can help them. Uh, get on that right track, 
you know, hold yourself to higher standards, believe that you can make it out because I'm a living witness that I did myself. We'll make a bet, right? If you don't get in trouble for the rest of the year to spring break, I'll bring you to a game with me. If you get in trouble, we gotta do something really cool though. It might be clean up the park out here, or it might be paint the gym. It's gonna be something, you gotta do some work. Deal? Mm -hmm. So what's the deal? You, we shook, hey, we shook yeah. on it. <laughs> a, a, a bet is a bet. Your word is your bond, right? I'm gonna I'm check on you too. Every week I'm gonna check, I'm gonna call and say, hey, did he get in trouble? And if you get in trouble, I'm gonna come and see you. One, two, three. Perfect. Thank you. You look right. You still lost though. <laughs> it, it was like 30 to 6. <laughs> Just giving, you know, other families hope and hopefully that, you know, my godfather and my mentor did this for me and I did these for these kids and when they meet somebody in life, they can do it for the next generation. Just because you don't play sports or you don't make millions of dollars don't mean that you can't touch someone's life and, and be a heck of a mentor. So the more people we can get to really take their time and try to lift, give someone a hand and lift them up, the better off I think this world can be. Believe, trust that you can be somebody, hold yourself to higher standard, beat the odds.